Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going guys? Welcome back to The Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be basically just setting up our first plugin, uh, well basically the main class that we're going to be using for a while. Um, pretty simple, um, it's going to be a really short video, kind of like in the beginning, uh, in the beginning bucket coding series, kind of um, five, six minute videos probably for a lot from here on out, but that's good though. Keep the content tight, keep the video short. So first things first is we are going to go ahead and make a new project. And now I get a lot of questions about how I get my IntelliJ like this. So I kind of want to quickly cover this. So if you do a new project, so when you're making a plugin or if you want to set up plugins, when you make a project, don't do Java, do an empty project. And then when you do an empty project, you can go new module. So these are all modules and I'm sitting here pointing to my screen like you can see. Then inside of here, you can choose what you want to do. We're going to go with Maven. Now, if you don't have IntelliJ, it's a little bit different on um, Eclipse or if you're using, for some reason, if you're using Atom to code it, which is not a bad IDE. They actually make a pretty nice IDE. Um, I won't be able to give you advice on what to do because uh, I don't completely remember because I haven't used Eclipse in forever. But we're going to go ahead and click Next. Our group ID, we're just going to call this me.tsc coding. And my artifact ID is going to be bungee cord plugins, plugin. And 1.0 snapshot's fine. And we'll save this to, yep, that's uh, not plugin metrics though. I don't know why it always does that. Plugin metrics. So we'll save that as bungee cord plugins and we'll finish. And now we're gonna go here, we're gonna go here. Okay, that's weird. I don't know why this does this. Oh, that's the wrong, oh, pff, wrong project, wrong project. We need to go all the way up here. SRC, main Java, and let's go ahead and create a new package. And we will call this me.tsc coding. And then inside of here, we're just gonna make a Java class and we will call this bungee main. Okay, so now that we have Bungie main, I'm going to be sort of a little bit lazy here. Um, I'm going to just manually put in the bucket jar, because uh, I think that's easier to just do this this way for the bucket jar, um, or a spigot jar, excuse me. Okay, and let's go to our artifacts here, and let's just get this quickly set up. Let's get rid of, where is it, we got to add it in. So a jar from existing module dependencies, Bungie plugin. All right. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of that because we don't need that to export there. And we are going to grab this and we're going to paste it here. We're going to click apply. Okay, sweet. So now what we're going to need to do is we're going to go into our Palm XML and we are going to go ahead and add in Bungie cord. Um, so this is the page. I'll leave a link down in the description. Uh, it's basically going to be going over everything that I'm going over right now. Um, nothing too crazy. Like I said, we're just getting the project set up, but we're going to copy all this in. Um, actually, we'll just go ahead and uh, we'll copy this into into our repositories. Oh, so I don't have anything in here yet. Okay, so we can actually just go ahead and copy this entire thing since we made a brand new project. Sweet. Makes it easy. Don't need that. I need this. There we go. So paste that in. And it's going to ask us to import a bunch of things, but we'll wait for it all to sort of resolve the dependencies down here. I think I have auto sync on, so it kind of saved me a little bit of work. Not too much, but a little bit. So uh, I'll come back when this process is all finished. Okay, so this process is all finished. If you don't have auto sync on, you might have a message up on the top bar here or possibly on this bottom bar here telling you to sync it up. Okay, so really the next thing is uh, pretty simple. We can go ahead and create our main class, which is just like creating any other main class. So you don't have to do anything special here. So I'll just go ahead and say uh, extends Java plugin. And I will just go ahead and say at override public void on enable. And we can just go ahead and get logger dot info. And we can say bungee cord plugin no, we don't even have to say that because it'll say it on the side. Uh, plugin has 
loaded. And we don't even need to say plugin because my name is Bungie Cord Plugin. Okay, then we'll just go into our resources here. We'll add a new file. This is going to be our um, plugin.yml. And our name is going to be Bungie Cord Plugin. Our main is going to be me.tscoding.bungie main. And our version is going to be 1.0. And that's really all we need to put in there. You can add all the extra stuff in. Doesn't really matter. You know, we'll just add the author in. Uh, we'll just say author is the source code. Cool. So now if we go ahead and export this, Bungie Cord plugin, let me launch Minecraft. Shouldn't it export with any spaces. There we go. And let's just do a quick reload PL. And we can see there, Bungie Cord plugin has loaded. So just make sure you don't have any spaces in here or uh, underscores just uh, keep it simple uh, makes life a lot easier so if we join here we can go ahead on the server and we can just double check so if we do slash pl we can see bungee cord plugin uh, is running even though i'm in a a hole right now um but yeah so that's all i got for you guys if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a comment drop a like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time